There's a little bit of definition now as we speak, as more and more teams are trying to get to the front. And like you explained before, Danny, oof, that motorbike really has to move on a little bit faster. As you explained before, this is Dutch racing, and uh, with all these corners that we have, you better be it at the front. It makes me nervous watching. Yeah. It really does. You know, Dutch racing is, oh, it's just so, so hectic with these corners, how fast it is with the road furniture, the twists and the turns. Look and like, you better be um, at the front and not at the back. You have to be. You're not, you're, <laughs> if you're not at the front now, that you are absolutely not getting to the front either, you know, with how fast it is. So uh, Elena Cicchini doing a really good job yep. here against the team of AG Insurance. Annie Lau actually had a really, really solid tour of Scandinavia. She was away um, on the final stage. Unfortunately, yeah, with that crash. uh, crashed. Yeah, yeah. but uh, it really showed that she was back to uh, really good form after the pelvic fracture that she, she sustained uh, earlier in the year. Maud Reinbeek is uh, the rider there for Age Insurance uh, Sudal Quickstep. And then uh, the DSM train, really impressive. There's nobody on the wheel there of uh, Reinbeek. Maybe she figures it out herself. And we're, of course, looking at the helmets, but both. AG Insurance and uh, SD Works are wearing the um, specialized helmets, so they <laughs> look exactly the same, apart from the fact that they have a little bit more green in it. Is this Quinty Ton trying again? It is indeed Quinty Ton. Looks like Schweinberger there on her wheel. This is a very audacious moment to go and try something, but why not? Yeah. Why not try yeah. it? Yeah, absolutely. Schweinberger. Yeah. Well the uh, Schweinberger sisters, of course, Katrin Schweinberger crashing out earlier uh, today, unfortunately, in a crash. But yeah, why not try it? If you're not, if you don't have a sprinter within your within your team, then uh, this is the best plan of attack. This is a really good move. Look at the gap that these two riders have got here. Yeah, we have uh, Phoenix de Koning here with Millie Cousins, the British rider, Shuli de Wilde, Evie Kuipers, Christina Schweinberger, Yara Kastelein, Austrian champion, Karina uh, Schrempf and Sophie Wright. And uh, Liv Racing Tech Find are racing here with... I can't find them anymore on my sheet. Where are they? Oh, there they are. Valerie de Meij, Eva Buurman, Talita de Jong, Shanne Korva, Sabrina Stultins, Marta Jaskulska and Quinty Ton. And, and those two teams, they don't have the super fast sprinters uh, on their roster. So they, they're just going to try and do this. 4.2 kilometers to go. Maybe if they commit to it, why not? There's nothing to lose. Although Quinty Ton has trouble following the wheel of Christina Schweinberger there. And yeah, there's chaos just behind. That. Yeah, there's always chaos in a final like this. It just, uh, that looked like the three kilometers to go banner on the side of the road. Mm. We're being shown 3.9 kilometers. Very sharp. Um, so actually only three kilometers, less than three kilometers to go here. So if I look at my map, they've just taken that left hand turn. They're going to swing around here. Left It's a straight now run in to our final right hander that we've got, which comes with a round. 400 meters to go and of course we, we can't see the peloton the gap is way too small for a camera bike to be in between but it looks like movistar is actually at the front as we speak uh Alena the, sierra yeah be a really Abbas, good Habas helmets there on the other side we have a little train of Ceratisit with the bright red helmet going on also still jacob lula in the mix a little bit of um little track going on there with shirin van andro in that blue jersey but still holding that lead we're in the final three kilometers don't let the g uh, the um numbers on your screen fool you uh, we'll have to look at the banners on the side of the road that was a really good spot there by uh, by you danny thanks for that because sometimes it happens that all of a sudden you're in the final kilometer you're just looking at the numbers on your screen it's like oh yeah we've still got three and a half k to go <laughs> and and then all of a sudden it's two kilometers less yeah, but, it was the same with oh. our Queen of the Mountain point, wasn't it? As we just saw one of the J.K. Lula riders nearly go onto the grass there. And there's, it's just panic here. You're trying to do everything you can to be well positioned. Little Trek now coming to the front. They're trying to set up Elisa Balsamo. Two victories so far this season. Can she take a third? This is Sanguinetti at the front, so quite possibly doing the work there. But Schweinberger and Quinty Ton, they are committing to it. They're glancing over their shoulders and every turn you see that Schweinberger is a better bike hander than Quinty Ton. And the, the peloton completely stretched out through the corners here. 
but the gap is almost closed. It's over. They're looking at each other. This was a very courageous effort, but we are going for that sprint, of course. We have the Cuban ch uh, champion there on the wheel of Shirin van Anroy. We're also looking at Anna Henderson there in the black, a little train of Jaco Lula, the yellow jersey on the shoulders of Charlotte Cole. Our European champion is, of course, Lorena Vibes. Elisa Balsamo with the red helmet in the color of Little Trek, now led by Shirin van Anroy. On the other side, we have Ruby Roseman Gannon there for uh, Jaco Alula. And there is the final kilometer. The final kilometer is there. There's a final effort here by Shirin van Anroy. We have uh, Fiverr Georgie there in front of Charlotte Cole. I'm looking to find. Uh, Elisa Balsamo can't find her just yet and everybody's trying to find position. Demi Vollering getting to the front there. We have Lotte Kopecky leading out. Lorena Vibes, look at that. Lotte Kopecky just bossing her way to the front there. Demi Vollering, Lotte Kopecky doing the lead out for Lorena Vibes. That is some sight to see. And there's more riders coming across for Team ST Works there with uh, Misha Bredewald as well. The yellow jersey is on the wheel of Fiverr Georgie. And Fiverr Georgie is going to start her lead out. Glancing over her shoulder is Lotte Kopecky trying to pilot Lorena Vibes. We're also looking at Amelie Diederiksen, I think, in the colors there of uh, Unix on the wheel of Susanna Anderson. This is that final corner. We're going into sight of the Finnish cameras and now it's up to Lotte Kopecky with Lorena Vibes and Charlotte Cole in tow. We have Elisa Balsamo there on the wheel of Sanguinetti also trying to get out there. Now through the middle is Lorena Vibes. We have Elisa Balsamo Balsamo as well, Lorena Vibes, Elisa Balsamo and Charlotte Cole and it looks like it is going to be, well, is it Vibes, is it Balsamo? There was a little, a little corner there, I would say it's Vibes, yeah, but it might as well so. be Balsamo, the, the, the graphics, the transponders give Elisa Balsamo as winner, but that was a phenomenal final lead out by Ilaria Sanguinetti. I, I think it's Balsamo, <laughs> but we'll have to look at it again. But that was a spectacular sprint. We also had uh, Confalonieri there with Anderson and, Hen uh, and Diedrichsen. Uh, Confalonieri actually being uh, fourth. Yeah, it's, it's oh, given as ba it is given as Balsamo. <laughs> oh, fantastic, fantastic, fantastic racing there by uh, Elisa Balsamo. And what a lead out. Look at this, what Ilir Ilaria Sanguinetti is doing here. This makes all the difference. Ilaria really Sanguinetti, uh, worth her weight in gold again today. And Charlotte yeah. Cole, she just lost the wheel of Fiverr Georgie there and is, um, yeah, too late. Yeah, she was wow. just squeezed out as well on that little <laughs> yeah. uh, right-hander was Charlotte Cole. Fiverr <laughs> Georgie did such a good job. But look at that, almost a photo finish on the line for Elisa Balsamo. But like you said there, Ilaria Sanguinetti doing a phenomenal lead out for Balsamo in those and final few hundred meters. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> oh, that's what it means to the team. Oh, it's so nice to see. I love it. That would be the confirmation that she'd uh, won the yeah. stage.